Good morning everybody. So I am filming this on one of my days off between shows in London, uh, which means it's a bit of a step back in time, uh, because by the time you are watching this, my tour will have finished and I will have already put out all of my videos, which means the you watching this currently knows more about how my tour went and what's in store for me than the me filming it. <laughs> So if I'm looking a little bit tired, that will be why. Uh, what I'm doing today is I'm meeting up with a friend of mine, Dan, who is from a company called ID that do stage combat. Um, I think it's really important to try and keep your skills up and I haven't had any one-to-one -one training or anything on my stage combat for a while. I've used it with work, but I always think it's important to get back, see a teacher, have them look at you and go, oh, you're doing that wrong. So that is my plan for the day. So this may be a really short video. I am going to take the camera into the room with me, but obviously my focus is going to be concentrating on actually working on my sword play. So yeah, camera's going to come with. Oh, first thing though, um, I'm a complete fool, have left all of the appropriate footwear in the company van, which I currently don't have access to. The only footwear I have is flip flops. Very sensible, I know. So. I am doing a slight detour on the way to training today. I am gonna go via a shop and buy myself some appropriate shoes for today. So yeah, the lesson there is always remember what it is that you're doing on your day off and pack accordingly. Editing Nicola here, coming to you from the middle of a heat wave. Um, I've just popped in to interrupt because while I'm watching all this footage back as I'm editing it, I'm finding it really fascinating because I'm picking up on loads of things that I haven't noticed before that I'm not quite doing right. It's one thing to work in front of a mirror, but it's quite another to sit back dispassionately and watch yourself back and you can see things where you can tweak and make better. So, if you're also into stage combat or indeed anything that is a physical sport, I heartily recommend recording yourself so you can sit back later, watch and improve. This little sequence that you're about to see us mark through is one that Dan put together based around a Canadian shuffle. It's a little bit of back and forth and it's a great one to practice if you just want to hone skills and like I did, work on some of the corrections that I've just had made around my parries and all those bad habits that I've got into. So thank you, Dan, because I will be using this one a lot. So that is all of that done. That was a really great session. Dan is an amazing guy to work with if you need some work on stage combat. I heartily recommend him, so I'll put all the details down in the box below. And now it's time for another episode of what does an actor do on their day off? Why? They go to see a show! <laughs> I'm so excited by that lighting rig. This is such an, a performer thing to do, but I am excited as much by how close we are to the lighting rig and the fact that we're sat where the sort of choir might normally sit and I don't know if you can see the mics just on there. And also I'm going to pan around over here and you can see this incredible beast. Look at that organ. 